Okay, we have cut some uh, cardboard templates for, yes, mattresses are getting ready to go in. And I just noticed this, Henry mowed my yard while I was out getting foam. Fantastic neighbors here. My house is still up for sale if you want to make them your neighbors. And if you need services here in town, you can call Henry. He has a uh, haul off, clean up, uh, yard service, you name it, he'll get it done. He's a good guy. And this is that foam I was talking about. We need something to sit on up here and lay on down here so i made a trip over to america and upholstery supply lots of foam and they're just two miles down the street over here is installing fans they've worked out well so we're gonna get some more put them on the other side and that's John Muse down there he's joining us for a couple days passing through and if you believe in things like the universe bringing you what you need at the proper moment he kind of has done that John here just finished making cushions for his uh, motor home like that. okay they you got them strapped in so they don't fly out on their own they got velcro straps on them yeah that velcro well yeah. it should have velcro yeah it does Oh yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. Yeah, that's nice material you use. I'm not gonna use anything quite that nice. I'm gonna use sailcloth for the pilot house. Yeah. Doesn't matter what the work is like. Okay, a couple tips for you. You can cut this relatively flat, but it's not gonna be perfect. The factory edge is really nice. So if you're gonna butt two together, make sure you glue a factory edge to another factory edge. Cut your stuff on the outside where you won't have to use this as a glue joint. This way, so straight across. We're at American Trim Upholstery picking up more foam. That's Mike. Wow, you got a whole back room. This place is huge. Yeah. So if you need something in the foam and upholstery department, this is the place. They're going to have it here, aren't you? Yep. And these are the big buns that come in? It is. And so there's a saw that they just slice it down. Wow. To whatever you need in thickness. Hydraulic system on it to run it. So there you go. Beautiful. tough I know it's 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 work so yeah. step a make a tube that the foam will shove into man that's tight it's a good and thing. then you work on the flaps on bed. the end what your bed had to be perfect my bed it has to be perfect that's right oh, yeah. looks like a lot of work there John only if you do it my way I'm not gonna or take you make more work for yourself yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna be taking it out of there very often so you put the foam in, you can figure out the corners very easily, but man, it's a, it's a lot of work putting it in. The other idea is, you know, we could just cut it and glue it. We don't have to sew the ends. I'm not opposed to it. Nah, nah, we'll be better than that. What we want to do is we're going to leave a, a flap here so that we can take the foam out occasionally, put it out in the sun, let it dry, kill any mildew that might be growing on it. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. I, I like to cut out all that material. Um, okay, and because it's too bulky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But. Yeah, there you go. Looks good though. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Doug, that's your bed. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep 
sleep on it tonight. All right. So we don't have to just trim in there. So then, right. and the worst part is we waited to sew the flap down <laughs> until we got it in. Couldn't ask for better. <laughs>